everyone. Welcome back to Sofa and Chill. I'm Kev. Today, going to be watching another episode in the crazily addictive and hugely enjoyable Game of Thrones series that I'm going through at the moment. Yeah, um, closing in on the end of season three. This is the penultimate episode. The uh, yeah, season episode nine, season three, the reigns of Castamere. Yeah, quite a lot happened in that last episode. It was um, hugely entertaining, shall I say. The big thing that jumped out, apart from kind of the second sons getting involved in that uh, Dario um, kind of killing the other, <laughs> the other ones to kind of show that he wants to be on the side of uh, of Danny. Um, I think he wants to be on more sides than that of Danny. But uh, yeah, he brought us some heads to kind of say, hey, this is what I'm, this is who I am. This is what I can do, and the second sons are yours get down on my knee and that's it yeah but uh, the other big thing that happened in the last episode was the wedding of Sansa Stark to Tyrion um I'm pleased that they didn't you know they didn't consummate the marriage um they both didn't want to let's be honest uh Sansa definitely didn't and uh yeah, Tyrion's in love with Shay so she's she was well pleased wasn't she she came in in the morning expecting to find um that the that the done stuff and then she was over the moon that you know all the the, the sheets were clean shall i say uh so Shea was like oh thanks for that and Tyrion slept on the like outside like outside of like the the the, the bed enclosure uh and he was like i won't come to bed unless you know until you invite us and sansa was like well what happens if i never do and he's like well you know i guess my uh my watch begins so it was kind of like a an abode to the to the the night's watch because obviously they they are celibate aren't they so it's kind of like they, his watch begins which was quite clever i do like that especially that we know that he has been at the wall even if it was just kind of like a flying visit the hound has aria but she, he's taken her to the twins um to uh because rob's on his way with talia and the uncle the uncle's gonna get married to one of the freys uh <laughs> but i don't like him anyway i hate Frey. he's probably got he's like young daughters like sorry he's young wives there and he's a bit of a creep but uh yeah i'm excited i'm excited for this one I, you know i love this show i absolutely love this show so just looking forward to seeing kind of what happens next in there that the whole thing between Tyrion and sansa is going to be quite fun and sheer um but yeah uh no really idea with reigns of Castamere. doesn't really jump out anything doesn't say anything so just excited to get into it see what it's all about yeah thank you so much uh, for being here i appreciate you more than you know um if you enjoy the channel uh hit the like button and subscribe i also do put the full length reactions to this over on the patreon i will leave a link below if you like the full length stuff yeah so with that being said uh and the excitement is is real let's do this my god i love this show i've been to kfc today other fast food restaurants are available yeah so there's kind of lots lots of gone on the thing is it is there is only two episodes left of season two season three sorry two episodes so i'm expecting some kind of like big things happening so either we're gonna get something big here or the next season uh, episode can't wait it's all excitement and everyone keeps calling me a sweet summer child <laughs> i have no idea what that means Mine's a lot here, with a caramel shot. <laughs> That's the level, people. I'm intrigued to see what happens next. Are you sure about this? It's dangerous. Bob. If we take Tywin's castle from him, <sighs> the Lords of Westeros will realize he's not invincible. Are they gonna take, they're gonna try and take Castle Rock? Now Winterfell is burnt to the ground. The North is overrun with Ironborn, and Bran and Rickon are gone. So, Casterly Rock. I need your advice, Mama Bear. I'm asking your advice. There we go, good lad. I love this relationship between these two. If Walder Frey cooperates. Right, yes, get him married, get, get the- Walder Frey cooperates. Get the uncle married off, without any, no, no arguments, just marry off, and then just hear how Walder son. Get on board. Show them how it feels to lose what they love. Ah, oh, yes! If they take Castelli Rock, it'll be unbelievable. Because obviously, after watching the histories and lore, I, like, I know I know why 
that like uh, Tywin and the family of Lannister are so rich. My honoured guests. Yes. Oh, I hate this fuck. Be welcome within my walls and at my table. I have come to make my apologies, my lord. Yes, this has to happen. Don't beg my forgiveness, your grace. Beg your daughter. It wasn't me who spurned, it was my girls. <gasps> and here's my youngest daughter, Shiree. Clearly you don't have the patience for all that. My ladies, I was pledged to marry one of you and I broke that vow. And any man would be lucky to have any one of you. Oh, he's doing the right thing. I did not to slight you. Don't look. Don't be funny. But because I loved another, I beg your forgiveness. <laughs> Sozo. And pledge to do all I can to make amends so the Freys of the Crossing and the Starks of Winterfell may once again be friends. Oh, he's like so arrogant. He's, uh, he doesn't, like, you can tell he doesn't mean it. There she is. Come closer. Don't say anything funny about my Let boy. Let me have a look at you. Oh, look at your lips, you dirty bastard. Love. That's what the Starks of Winterfell call it, eh? <laughs> I call it a pretty face. Careful. Prettier than this lot, that's for sure. I can always see what's going on beneath a dress. Been at this a long time. Ugh, he's fucking awful, isn't he? Your king says he betrayed me for love. I say he betrayed me for firm tits and a tight fit. Oh! And I can respect that. We'll set up tents outside with food and ale for the rest of your men. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, you dirty bastard. Well, let's get ready. That was always going to happen, though, wasn't it? And we'll put this mess behind us. He basically just called it, treat him like a bit of a dickhead. Um, but it kind of had to happen because he did break the oath and he, a uh, Walter Frey guy is a bit of a cock. So basically, he, he just, he had to be quite disrespectful. Made him feel better for what Rob did by breaking that oath. I kill the guards. I take your two best men and lead them through the back streets, which I know well, and open the front gates. Or perhaps you'll lead Grey Worm and me to the slaughter. The masters of Yunkai will pay you. I've just killed two of my men. Because you've already slaughtered your partners. You command the Unsullied. What do you think? I trust him. Well done, Grey Worm. Leave tonight. Very good. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh shit! West yes. Of Castle Black, but Sam, Sam stabbed the um, stabbed that fucking White Walker, and it exploded. But he had that like that dagger, didn't he? That they found. You know all that from staring at marks on paper. You're like a wizard. <laughs> yes, Sam, Sam the wizard. He's gonna be buzzing with that. He's like, yes, I am. <sighs> God, that wall will scare the size of it. Yes, so we're gonna have um, are we are we gonna get a um a meeting then? Is Ari you gonna get to see Rob and a mum? We so cool. I'm your father, and I'll do the talking. That looks dodgy. Roads have gone right to hell, haven't they? Cracked three spokes this morning. In time for the wedding. Ah, are they gonna hop aboard? Many thanks. Oh! Don't kill him. Don't. Don't kill him. Dead rats don't squeak. You're so dangerous, aren't you? <laughs> That's so harsh. Dead rats don't squeak. I know a killer. A real killer. Please don't. Oh, he's not used to that. Yeah, he's not used You're to... very kind. Yeah, uh, we're getting talked to... Someday, like it'll get you killed. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> yes, I realise. <laughs> he woke up... <laughs> with his jaw taken off. Yes, I think. Okay, so for those of you who watched, who've seen Harry Potter as well, is she out of Harry Potter? Doesn't seem to be supporting anyone at the moment. The one that came with Bran and Hodor. No war up here. Her. She in Harry Potter. He's selling horses. He's got some gold in there. A spear through the heart's a better way to die than coughing up your last with no one but your horses to hear. They'll send a lot more to hunt down murderers. Yeah, that's right, yes. I hope so. And John. Shit, what's gonna happen? Is John gonna allow them to kill him? <laughs> he let the he hit that so the man would say. He's just gonna run. Yeah, he's gonna get no, he's gonna get shot. Igrid's gonna kill him. <laughs> Did she notice? Oh shit, that's gonna come to a head, you know. She knows. 
Oh my god. They're there? The mum and like mum and brothers there? Yes! Run! Oh, he's eating a fucking pig's head raw. You're a hog farmer if you eat them all. Don't worry, they're still there. I know they're still there. You check every five minutes like you're afraid they're gonna move. You're almost there. And you're afraid you won't make it. I'm afraid I'm, I'm like, hurry up. I knew fear when I saw it in you. You're afraid of fire. And I know I do. I heard what your brother did to you. <gasps> Go ahead then. You might get away. Closest you've been to family since ill and pain snipped your daddy's neck. Oh. Someday, I'm gonna put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. <gasps> I wonder if she does. Cause that Melisandre said that he, she sees a lot of death. Even Hodor's not strong enough to climb the wall with me on his back. Hold on. Oh, it's here it's it. Here's the thunder. Nineteen castles guard the wall. Only three are still mad. Hold on. There's a writer out there. Whoa. Just one. There's more. Hold on. Oh, not the wildings. Wildlings. Hold on. Make him shut up if they hear us. Hush, hold on. No, no more hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Calm down. They're going to hear you. They've heard you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Whoa, what did he do there? What did you do? I don't know. He'll know. That was exciting. He just put him to Kip, didn't he? Right. I heard shouting up there. Thunder. It's hard to believe he's fucking his brothers are just up there. Maybe it's ghosts. He's so close to like to Bran and Rickon. <laughs> Arya's so close to a mum and uh, and Rob. What? You understand. Let me stand at least. Ooh, the wolves. <sighs> You're one of us now. Prove it. I thought that coming. I hate him. He's a dickhead. I can't do it by choice. You can. I don't know how. It's, it happens in my dreams. You're a warg, Bran. It's in your blood. Come on. <sighs> do it. Oh, no. Do it. Come on! I don't know. He can't. Nah, he can't. He'll always be a crow. And here's his crow wife, guy. Oh shit. Turned on him. Kill him. Oh, they're gonna they've said kill him. They're gonna go after Igrid. Igrid's gonna die. Say Igrid's shown her share loyalty to John. He's one of them! Do you hear me? I'm not gonna die for one of them! Do it. Well, they're not gonna they're just gonna they're gonna go off with Igrid. If you don't. Shit. Ooh! <gasps> yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh, the dire wolves are on it. Oh, throat gone! Oh, and you're dead. You are dead. You were right the whole time. <gasps> oh, the last thing he did was turn into the the hawk. Cut the hawk's head off. Let's get grab her. He hasn't. He's left her. He's left her. He's left her. <gasps> I didn't think he'd leave her. Shit, the bed. Ah. Goodbye. <laughs> Straight away. He's quick, isn't he? Doesn't mess about. Please don't be a start. It's not going to be a setup. Yunkish prefer to let their slaves do their fighting for them. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> Oh, look at Grey Worm go. Ho oh, ho, fucking hell. You're gonna, that throat box is gonna kill in the morning. 
Oh, I stabbed him in the cock. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Didn't bother. Oh, I like him. He's really cool. They could be in trouble here, like. I guess it doesn't matter how many you've got. Like, how good you are. That was too many. Oh my god, he's going to take one look at her and be like, I, uh... <laughs> but it's for, it's for the cause. He's taking one for the team, people. What? What? Where did she come from? I hope I'm not a disappointment to you. Oh my god, he's gonna be fucking chuffed to bits. He's like, oh love, get up. I'm extra happy. You are not a warthog. <laughs> what a delight to me, my lady. Oh, good. You may now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. <laughs> no worries, youngin. So, has Walder been hiding her? <laughs> she, she's like like a hidden gem, I suppose. I, I don't know why he'd hide her, but she's daughter. He's buzzing. In the sight of the seven, I hereby seal these two souls, binding them as one. I love a happy marriage. For eternity. Such a romantic. I am hers. And she ah, that's it. I've, luckily, this can all get put behind us. Until the end of my days. You were right. Get inside. God, lots has happened so far in this one. It's been great. You got inside Hodor's mind. They can't do that, North the Wall. No one can. No one can do that. Oh. Anyway. When I was looking through Summer's eyes, I saw John. Where? He was with the wildlings. Tried to kill him, but he got away. He'll be heading back to Castle Black then. God, he was, John was just outside. Everything Jojen told me is true. Do you saw what I did to Hodor? I have to find the Three-Eyed Raven. I'm not asking you to come with me. You and Osher and Shaggy Dog head for the last half. Shaggy Dog? The Umbers are our bannermen. We have to protect you. Oh, got hold on. Right now, I have to protect you. You and me. We can have some adventures. The Umbers are great warriors. Say goodbye, little man. Keep this one safe. From being... Someone who came in and was going to kill Bran at one stage, she's become like a big part of the, of the group. They did not believe until it was too late, threw down their spears and surrendered. Ooh! And Dario Naharis? Yeah. He's dead. Ah, oh, she's buzzing. <laughs> Jara's hurting. Oh, she loves a bit of Dario, doesn't she? I brought your quilt, love. The city is yours, my queen. And I've got something else for you if you want. <laughs> See, he's um, banging now. He's chuffed a bit. I don't blame him, neither. He's actually going to be really happy. Where's... Is this... Are we going to end up with the Arya? <laughs> oh, he's my nephew. <laughs> It's the first time you've seen them for a while, all sitting, like, having a laugh. Drink, Lord Bolton. Never do, my lady. I need to find a tree to piss on. <laughs> Your mother is less in need of rescue than any woman I've <laughs> Be kind. If she had her way, I would be back in Volantis playing my harp, and you would be sitting over there eating blackberries out of Rosalind Frey's hand. Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Striking your king is an act of treason. Don't insult them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good move. She's clever. They are not yet man and wife. <laughs> a sword needs a sheath, and the wedding needs a bedding. It's ritualistic. <laughs> Let us bed them. He's chuffed a bit. <laughs> she doesn't seem as happy. Every bride suffers the same. I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Oh, Nat forbade it. He said it wouldn't be right if he broke a man's jaw on our wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then, where's Arya? That is a very strange custom. Without the bedding ceremony, 
was no real proof the Lord and Lady consummated their marriage. Oh, they'll have to watch. Other ways of providing proof. Ah, there is if there's a baba in there. Boy or girl? The boy. It's a girl. I don't know. I know what we should name him. Oh, do you? His name Eddard. Eddard. There it is. There it is. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? Oh man, that's so cute. She's, she knows they're happy. That's all that matters. Arya and what's in the, the hound? What's that look for? She's just give like a strange look. My God, she's just outside. Got salt pork for the feast. Your feast is over. Sound like it's <laughs> over. If I tell you it's over, it's over. What? Got pig's feet too. Are you soft in the head? Turn this car around. They're not gonna let it get let in. Oh, that's fucking shit. What's going on here with Catelyn? Your Grace. What? I feel I've been remiss. I've given you meats and wine and music, but... I've just got the worst cold feeling ever. I owe my new queen a wedding gift. He's got chain mail on. <laughs> no, don't do anything! Don't hurt the pl Don't hurt the ghost! Don't, don't! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> Oh no, it's the fucking stab tell you. Oh my god, I hate this show. I can't breathe. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm so angry. It's over. They're gonna kill everybody. God, I've got like, I'm so like, I've, I'm so angry. I'm so angry, I'm gonna literally scream. Don't! It's too late. Oh! God, Mike, he's twatted her on the head. Look, he's gonna run with her. No, he was so, they were so close. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to deal with this. My heart's gonna explode. The king in the north arises. Go cat, go cat, do something. Lord Walter, Lord Walter, enough. Please don't kill them. He is my son, my first son. I swear it by the old gods and you. You already swore me one oath right here in my castle. Get up, get up and walk out, please. Please. And why? Would I let him do that? On my honor as a Tullich. On my honor as a Stark. Let him go. Or I will cut your wife's throat. He's not gonna fucking care. I'll find another. Don't! With this and the regards. Fucking shaking. Can't deal with it. Can't deal with it. I can't deal with it, sure. Can't deal with it. I can't. Can't. So angry. So, I'm so angry.
so angry. So angry. So fucking angry. Okay. You're gonna have to give us a minute. You're gonna have to give us a minute. You have to give us a moment. So angry. I'm literally fucking shaking. So upset. So upset. Sorry, I probably look like a fucking mess. Oh. That was awful. Never. Never. I've never been that emotional. A show. TV show before. I've got to congratulate the writers on, um, on absolutely destroying people with that. I can tell that has to be one of the biggest shocks. Not only if Game of Thrones, but if, if any TV show, it has to be. Has to be. That has to be. So happy I never got any spoilers for that. So happy, but I'm so upset. But God, I feel like, I feel like I'm sweating. I feel like I'm literally sweating. Um, so much happened that I can't visual, like, I kind of, you know what I mean? My head is literally going round and round in circles here. Um, I was literally going to pause it, have like 10 or 15 minutes and then come back and talk. But I think by getting my real, really raw uh, initial reaction, I'll be a bit more important. Um, so upset. So upset. I'm very... I'm an old romantic. So, uh, it seemed like everything was going well. Um, the uncle had managed... He married the one of the, one of the fucking Frey's daughters. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Um, I hate him more than Joffrey. Um, and... It ended up being that, you know, he did have this hidden gem in a daughter. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated, I can't think, I can't think about that, that last bit just yet. Um, Arya was so, Arya was so close to seeing them. A bit like, um, a, a, a bit like John was so close to seeing Bran and Rickon. Um, but uh, he ran, and he ran, and he left, he left Igrid, and she said, but if you do, don't betray us. So that's going to be a bit of a, that's going to come back, I think. Um. That can't be the end of that story, though, with, with regards to them two. My God, I'm so angry! Um, I'm, this is going to ruin my fucking day, like, the next week for me, you know. I'm going to be so frustrated. Um, out of um, everybody in the show... I need a second. Still checking. Rob and Talia were me favourites. Like, one of me favourites. <laughs> In my mind, I had a vision of kind of where it was going, where Game of Thrones was going to head. And I had a feeling it was uh, behind Rob. Rob was going to become the next Ned. Um, my God, the writers are such dickheads. Like, even just five minutes before that happened, they were talking about the Ben name and the Ben. Ned. And like, I know it's only a TV show, but it's, visually, it scars you. Um, and they were saying like, you're going to see Ned out a ride and shit like that. And it'd give you this kind of picture of like, wholesomeness, that's what it is. In this world of shit, of Game of Thrones, a world that is death and destruction and treachery, which is always quite cool. But, there's all this shit going on, and then you've got this, this, this little family little family but even though he has the worth like the worth of the world on his shoulders the worth of the world might come you fucking brains fried he has the uh, you know he has the world on his shoulders it he still like him entirely it just had this it's proper special connection proper special bond and you you rooted for them that was what it was and they kind of have that torn away from you like god I thought the death of Ned Stark was bad. And then they killed, they killed Catelyn as well. I can't believe they killed Catelyn. So they've wiped out all of the Starks almost. 
so frustrated. I thought there was going to be so much more to that, like that storyline. And the fact that he betrayed, I like, he just betrayed them. The Lannisters said, uh, and the regards with her, isn't that what Jamie said to him? Tell them I couldn't make the wedding till I send them my regards. But Jamie didn't mean it like that. Jamie just said, send them my regards. The Lannisters send the regards, okay, so that's just, just jumped in my mind, that's all. Um, people, how are you? From me to you, that, that was fucking awful. Awful. It's awful. Hated it. I'm, g I'm maybe going to have to go down to just to release in two episodes a week, I think. Um, because what I'm doing is, is that I'm watching this. It's mentally scarring us. And then I have to go back and edit an earlier episode. And that shit, I mean, I've just edited Baylor a couple of episodes ago and I've just had to watch this. Like, I literally, my emotions, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. Like, I'm gonna, I'm going on to edit another Game of Thrones soon, and it'll be someone else that I know gets killed, and it's like... Like, I need to be able to absorb it. If I don't absorb it, I'll just jump into the next episode, and, and you know what I mean? I need to be able to feel the full impact of it. Ah, oh, people, that was awful, I hate it, I hate it. Um, my god, I must have looked like a fucking mess at the end of that episode. Sorry, people. Finally calmed down a little bit. Um... How did you feel at the end of that? For those of you that had read the books, what did you think of the... You knew that was coming, obviously. Um, was it a, was it a good adaptation? Did, the, did, did it go... Did it play out right when they went to the, you know, to screenplay? And for those of you that hadn't read the books and didn't know what was going on, what was your initial thoughts of that? Let me know. But did were you a fucking sobbing mess like I was? Crying like a bitch. It was. Um awful um thank you everybody i'm just gonna go in there uh, go and get in a cold shower and cry thanks for watching i appreciate you i really do i hope you've enjoyed watching this absolute heartbreak of an episode um i love game of thrones but this hurt i'm upset okay if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you're seeing. If you enjoy watching a grown man weep like a bitch, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I'll also put a playlist for those of you who are new. Uh, if you want to go back and watch some of the other ones, I'll put a playlist down there. Whack a subscribe button up there if you want to click and follow along. Turn on your notifications. Yeah, I'll see y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all very, very soon.